Hello, I'm Peter Mogazel, and I'm here with Dr. Gerald Mackay from the CF Airway and Microbiology Research Group at Queen's University in Belfast, Ireland. We're at the European Cystic Fibrosis Society annual meeting in Hamburg, Germany. Welcome, Dr. Mackay. Thank you. Uh, tell me about the research that you presented at the conference today. So my research that I presented here at the meeting was to with the phosphomycin tobramycin combination, which we tested under aerobic and anaerobic conditions. And then my main findings were that the combination was more effective under anaerobic conditions and was more likely to exert synergy under anaerobic conditions, which may be physiologically relevant to CF lung, as um, these pathogens such as Pseudomonas and MRSA may be growing under these conditions in the CF lung environment. Do you think it would be important to test susceptibility to antibiotics under aerobic conditions in the laboratory? Definitely. I think when we test antibiotics in the lab, there's never going to be a complete correlation with, with the lung in vivo. We're never going to be able to replicate that. But anything that is more relevant to those conditions, I think, is beneficial because, as we all know, the susceptibility in the lab doesn't always correlate to, um, to patient, patient outcomes. So I think it's worthwhile looking at different conditions, such as anaerobic conditions, and see what we can learn from that. What were the results of your your study? Hey, so the results were that the, the combination was more likely to be synergistic under anaerobic conditions. Um, we also showed that the combination maintained bactericidal activity at 24 hours, mm -hmm. whereas in some cases uh, when isolates were exposed to tobramycin, they initially declined in numbers before increasing again. However, the phos phosphomycin tobramycin combination maintained bactericidal activity. And that was true both in the aerobic and the anaerobic particularly, conditions? Particularly under anaerobic conditions. So again, that might be relevant, particularly if you're using tobramycin, mm -hmm. which is less effective under anaerobic conditions. It may be something to take into account when we're treating patients. How do you think that uh, new inhaled antibiotics will be used once they become available clinically? I think these new antibiotics, um, a lot of them are for inhalation. And because inhalation can produce peak sputum concentrations that are higher than IV therapy. I think that we're going to see a major move towards inhaled antibiotic therapy, mm -hmm. um, whether that's used for chronic suppressive treatment rather than treatment of exacerbations. Mm -hmm. I think this may be more used in suppressive treatment rather than exacerbation treatment, which I envisage still being mainly treated with IV antibiotics. Mm -hmm. Do you think that uh, testing for anaerobic uh, susceptibility is valuable in the development of new inhaled antibiotics? I think ideally we would do anaerobic testing. Um, obviously in the routine, routine laboratories it's a question of cost as well mm -hmm. as other things and time. So ideally, under ideal circumstances, it would definitely be worthwhile to test under anaerobic conditions if that was possible. Is the phosphomycin tobramycin combination effective against MRSA? I think definitely this combination could be used against MRSA. And we all know that the prevalence of MRSA is increasing. Mm -hmm. And um, we have shown by MIC testing and by this study that I've presented at this meeting that this combination is effective against MRSA and it's particularly effective under anaerobic conditions. Mm -hmm. And given the fact that MRSA readily grew under anaerobic conditions, I think this is definitely a, a potential treatment option. Do you think it will be valuable to test a synergy between a different inhaled antibiotics? It's definitely worth looking at. Um, we need to look at it under again under conditions that are relevant to mm -hmm. CF lung. There's no point in, in using two things together that antagonize each other. Right. So, you know, it, it's definitely worthwhile to look for synergy and where synergy exists. I think it's beneficial to use two drugs that are synergistic, even though again, it doesn't always correlate to patient outcomes, but it's better than using something mm -hmm. th that work against each other. Where is uh, phosphomycin and tobramycin in the development process? It's in phase three clinical trials at the minute. Mm -hmm. the, the phase two trial results were presented in uh, Baltimore last year, mm -hmm. where it showed that it could maintain reductions in sputum density after a 28 day course of case um, And then it's currently in phase three trials at the minute. Okay. Well, thank you very much for taking the time to talk to me about your work and about uh, the future of inhaled antibiotic therapy. Okay, thank you.